Hey folks, Garrett here, back with another review. Uh, this time a G1 review. Uh, I am in the process, planning stages of rebuilding uh, the old G1 collection. And, you know, I've started off with a few small pieces, as most of them are, um, you know, rather pricey. Um, and I just thought I would uh, break out the uh, G1 Rat Bat that I picked up at this convention a few months ago. Uh, the same one that I got the kickback at. Um, this is, I think, of the Decepticon cassettes, one of my favorite ones. And, and Rat Bat is definitely one of those uh, cassettes that while most people are, you know, associate the cassettes with, with Ravage and Laserbeak more than anything, you mentioned Rat Bat, and my experience has been most collectors get a little twinkle in their eye over this guy, um, more so than, than Ravage. Um, and while Ratbat was never a part of my original collection, uh, he was one I always wanted. So, uh, I was pretty excited to find this guy. Um, a couple of things on the cassette, and I'm looking at the, the TF Bible here, on um, page 106. There's some variations on the, ca on, on this particular cassette. Um, the, the first and foremost is there's... He either came with silver chrome weapons or the gold chrome, gold chrome weapons, like I have here. Uh, the gold chrome ones are a little bit more sought after. Um, possibly they were more limited. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe, well, it was probably limited, but at the same time, you know, the, the gold, uh, the yellow gold, Yellow being a, a complementary color to purple, uh, really I think stands out much nicer with the purple than the silver ones do. Also on the cassette, the um, the uh, paint and sticker applications. There were some variations on this one. On this one, he's all this kind of dark purple. Um, the the sticker here has the similar dark purple. Um, the other variation, uh, the the purple in the picture here looks a little bit lighter. The sticker is larger. Um, the other variation, the sticker actually comes all the way up here past these two little screws. And down here to the midpoint of those two little dark squares at the bottom. Um, as well as the little prongs inside little holes uh, are painted silver. Um, the black line that runs around the outside edge of the the sticker on the other variant is actually also wider so uh, you might check that if you've got this rat bat to see which version you have. Now I'm assuming that the gold come with this variant and the silver weapons come with the other variant so at least that's kind of what uh, what's being shown here. Now this is a small figure. I have large hands. I'm not used to doing the big figure so I'll do my best to keep my hands out of the way. Um, to move into his transformation just flip him around this way as he falls off. By the way, when I got him, I don't remember them coming with these little plastic cases. I don't think they did. I meant to ask the guy. Uh, I think this is just uh, an additional thing that he got that uh, Rabat fits into. That is, I've, I've actually liked having because it's a good way to protect him. Um, so to start his transformation, these two little purple pieces here are his feet. And I'm just going to bring those down first uh, to give him a base to stand on so he won't fall over as much. Okay, then his wings are going to come out like so. I like to bring them up this way just a little bit so that when you unfold the tips of his wings they're not dragging on the table. He does have a little rub symbol, which you can kind of see his Decepticon symbol there. Um, this little purple piece right here is going to flip up to reveal his head with his little gold painted eyes. His ears on this one are intact. Apparently those are notorious for being missing on these. Um, they apparently break very easily. These are actually very loose. They don't, they're supposed to stand up like so on both sides, but mine are very loose. They don't like to stand up. But as long as they're intact, I'm happy. And then if you see these little lighter purple pieces right here, these are just some little claws here 
on the tips of his wings that pop up like so and then you're just going to attach his weapons here onto his back make sure they're straight and there we go G1 Ratbat um, man the, the sculpting on this guy is excellent um, you know a lot of those early figures um, the, the sculpting is good um, the details are, are good but not that intricate but this one I mean, uh, if you can see just all these little details sculpted into the wings, all the little mechanical bits, um, even right down to his face. Like I said, this camera is not very good for getting any close macro work, but you can even see sculpted in his face his his individual little bat fangs and uh, and his nose. So uh, just a great sculpted little figure. And I want to go ahead and read his uh, bio, by the way, uh, from the book here. Uh, Ratbat has no friends, only business partners. His only allegiance is to himself. He refuels, he refuels by plunging his mecha fangs into new car gas lines. The better made the car, the better the gasoline tastes. His maximum flying speed is 65 miles per hour. For me that seems a little bit odd for uh, an alien robotic life form such as this, that the, his maximum speed would be 65 miles per hour. You'd think it might be a little bit faster, but... Especially with his little jetpacks back there. But oh well. It was it was nineteen eighty four. What do you expect? Or eighty six, excuse me. This guy's came he came out in eighty six. Duh. Um He carries two radar guided free electron lasers, his weapons here, that can detect the presence of an object as small as a fly. His wings contain mechanical sensors for locating fuel sources. He is basically the Decepticon's fuel scout. He goes out looking for fuel sources for them to convert to Energon. Um, he can have a wingspan from between 1 foot to 10 feet, thanks to the uh, G1 man mass shifting, which I like. I, I know a lot of people have issues with that, but I think it's cool. Uh, his wings are vulnerable to artillery fire. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's kind of a self-serving little guy. Um, but still, I think a very cool character and an excellent little figure. Um, if you don't have one of these, find you one. Um, he, you should be able to pick him up on eBay fairly inexpensively. Um, this guy was 20 at the convention, but uh, they are going to be re-releasing him as part of the um, San Diego Comic-Con um, exclusive Soundwave, G1 Soundwave, is one of the cassettes that come with him. Um, so if you can't find an original one, get one of those, because um, he's, he's just an awesome old cassette, and I think one of the best cassettes in the line. So, anyways, that has been G1 Ratbat. Thank you guys for watching, and we will talk to you later.